Ah, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say to both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Follow me! I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. G quick, man, quick! My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, calm Professor. Calm down! I I've never been so excited in all my life! Hello, Professor. Mr. Marston. Come on! This is it! <laughs> Years of research! What were you talking about back there? Where are we going? Nastas has set up a meeting. A powwow, I think they call it. A meeting of minds, of souls, Indians and whites, academics and criminals coming together to find a common understanding. Nastas, this fool's making no sense. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougal up at Bear Claw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say. <laughs> a touch of the old jitters. No kid. It's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Whoa. Kill it. Anger her. Now we have no choice. Good God. If we hadn't shot first, it most likely would have ignored us and moved on. All very well for you to say that perhaps you have some kind of primal bond with these animals, but I, sir, have nothing but my innate instinct for self-preservation. And a rifle. It's a 500-pound predator, for heaven's sake. But what should we do? Make it roll over and tickle it into submission? Survival of the fittest does not. The bear got strength, man got intellect. This is it. Stay close, Mr. Marston. I'm a little out of my comfort zone. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! But who is he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weaponry. This is not 
what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn it, Dutch! Professor, get down now! They killed the stars! Austin, you have to get us out of here! Stay down and keep quiet! you, Professor, but I say we get the hell out of here. You don't have to tell me twice. Let's get back to Blackwater. Get me out. Come on. We should move quickly. There's plenty more where they came My from. My God, I feel terrible. My head is pounding. Getting shot at will do that to you. I'm completely drained. It's like my body has aged ten years. Stop moaning and run. Can't see any more of them. Come on, Professor. Let's get you back to Blackwater. I'd appreciate it if you would, Mr. Marston. I'm a shadow of my former self. Move! Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informer just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. You really think you're better than the law? Nobody shoots until I say. Don't shoot! That man is a hostage! 
They shot them dead. They're coming out. Gun them down. They're making a break for it. the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them! Let's move! They'll cover the windows from up top! Over here! Shoot the lock off that door! It's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No. He must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. Ah! 
You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. Mount up. You went this way. Yeah, yeah. Abraham. Yeah. Hey, what happened in there? We saw Vanderlyn escaping from some men. He stole off with the bank manager in an automobile. Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me! So that's the great Dutch? What a role model! The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Did he on your heartstrings? He kind of reminds me of you. The violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? Now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah! I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Who the hell are you fellas anyway? Lawmen or army? We are neither, Mr. Marston. But I have the authority over both. You bastards can't ever give a straight answer, can you? Let's just say our Bureau is tasked with the work of special interest to Washington. There's the car! They must abandon it and continue on foot! Easy! Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. Professor! Oh, it's you, dear boy. Come in, come in, and shut the door. What's going on? You leaving? Yes, sir, yes, I am, sir. Do you know, do you know the thing? The thing 
That is vital, without which scholarship cannot proceed, sir. No, I don't. Not having a bullet in your flipping neck, sir. I am not cut out for this. No, I'm not cut out for this at all. <laughs> nope. They're fucking savages! Savages! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, Professor? Oh, oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, oh. oh great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're going to kill the both of you. Why you want to do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Uh, why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their families. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is my boys here. They already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm going to hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're going to run across the rooftops, get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you. We're still here. Come on. <laughs> Good day, sir. Uh, madam. Look here, sir. What is the meaning of this, this outrage? You two stay down and shut up. This way. John! Help me, John! One more move, and he's a dead man. Mister! What do we do now? They've got us pinned down on both sides. Is that the best you can do?
The horses should be in an alleyway down here. in all my days. All right, get us out of this hell hole. Come on. Right, to the station. I'm not staying in this place a minute longer. This really couldn't have gone more horribly wrong. At least you got some good material for your next book. You know, I dreamt of documenting the last days of the Old West, the romance, the honor, the nobility. But it turns out it's just people killing each other. It always was, Professor. And the Old West ain't quite dead yet. Oh, I know, Mr. Marston. Believe me, I know. This is insanity! Giddy up! No! Here they come again! My research is complete. Much as I thought, there's no civilizing this savage land. I could have told you that for nothing. Ah, but they'll give me a prize in New Haven for this. <laughs> well, they bloody better. Well, goodbye, Mr. Marston. Best of luck, dear friend. So long, Professor. So long, sir. What do you want, Marston? My family. I've done what you asked. <laughs> no, you haven't. This is the land of opportunity, and I gave you the opportunity to save your family, and you failed. How could I possibly reward you? Marston, you're a public menace. We should have had you killed. I wish you had. But since you didn't, where's my family? Oh, spare me the noble savage fall on the sword tripe, will you? Oh, boy, it's nauseating. You don't wish to be dead. You're an insignificant creature desperately clinging on to life like the rest of the scum in this town. I know, it's tough. You like Dutch. He's a charming fellow. He makes sense. He's like one of those nature writers from back east. Only he takes things a tiny little step too far. Rather than just loving the flowers and the animals and the harmony between man and beast, <laughs> he shoots people in the head for money and disagreeing with them. He's a goddamn killer. Now, I'm not a great intellect, but the metaphysical leap from admiring the flower to shooting a man in the head because he doesn't like the flower is a leap too far. So, I know it's easy. see, 
we, me and Archer, we're the bad guys. We enforce the rules. Now, while the rules may not be perfect, they're really not so bad. Exactly. What's the alternative? Yeah. See, I'll tell you what the alternative is. It's not complicated. It's about one man and his gun versus another man. <laughs> sure. Civilization may be dull, but the alternative, Mr. Marston, is hell. And the way you enforce this civilization, this freedom for men to like or not like flowers, or whatever in God's name you were just talking about, is to kidnap a man's wife and son? Well, I know there's contradictions. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> As I said, I'm not a great intellect. Now, after the debacle with the army and the bank, we have to put Mr. Banderman to rest ourselves. Will you help us? Do I have any choice? Now that you mention it, no. Then what was that pretty speech in aid of? I don't rightly know, but it sure felt good saying it. <laughs> Shall we, Mr. Marston? Let's go. Once and for all, shall we? Come quick! Take a look at this thing! Oh, have you yeah, seen I'm this? Now. It's got a gun on the back! Oh, my lord, day! I've ever seen such oh. a dragon! Iron dragon! That's the devil's work! They told me about these! The army's been building them in secret! Oh, my god! What kind of automobile is that? This killing machine of yours seems to be turning a few heads! Our armed forces have no equal. We have made incredible progress the past few years. Is that what you call this it? This isn't much more than a simple prototype. You should see what they're working on in Virginia. Soon there will be no war we can't win. The Army has made camp a little way outside town. They put word out a large cache of ammunition and food is stored there. Vandalin's gang needs constant supplies, so that should be enough to draw them in. No mistakes this time. You hear me, Marston? I thought you were talking to Fordham. Here they come. Look, they brought the machine gun. What's the word, Captain? We spotted one of Dutch's men about an hour ago. I think he took the bait. Let's get in position, then. Have your men ready to run him down if you have to. Dismiss! Load weapons and get for the sandbag! Move! Are you ready to finish this, Mr. Marston? I guess so. Keep your eyes peeled.
They're retreating. Cease fire and mount up. We're going after them. Do something about that work! 